We can talk to Larry about seeing when our wet temperatures are going to warm up and hopefully we can get this ice to thaw. Uh, Saturday. Yeah, that's <laughs> the best we can do. This is really just kind of ridiculous. You know how cold it is outside. This is the coldest day in over 20 years because our high temperature today was only 20 degrees officially at DFW and we're still in the upper teens in many locations. Take a look at the, the map and we've got the cloud cover rolling in from the west and we have a few flurries out towards Graham and near Wichita Falls. It's 15 in Mineral Wells, 17 in Fort Worth, 21 in Dallas. A little warmer where there's no sleet or snow on the ground. Down in Palestine, we're up to 30 degrees, 24 in Corsicana and 28 degrees in Tyler. But everybody that's in the teens right now, that's where we still have some snow and sleet on the ground. Feels like two above in Fort Worth. Feels like eight above in Dallas. Feels like four degrees right now in Gainesville. Here's our weather timeline. At 9 o'clock this evening, we'll still be in the mid to upper teens with wind chills around minus two. Mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. At 7 o'clock in the morning, we'll wake up with temperatures around 10 above with a wind chill of minus five will warm to 20 during the lunch hour tomorrow and 23 around five o'clock in the afternoon. So at least a couple degrees warmer tomorrow and there'll probably be a few breaks in the clouds tomorrow that happened today and helped melt just a little bit of that ice on the roadways, but still not enough to really make a big difference. Here's that high today officially at DFW only 20 degrees Our low this morning. Not quite as cold as I thought we would get. It only dropped to 13 officially at DFW, but that low of 20 degrees. That's the coldest high temperature we've seen since December 22nd of 1990 over 20 years ago. That was the last time it was this cold during an afternoon here in North Texas. So what a what a week for this cold air to get here. Now we're waiting on our next storm system and that's taking shape back towards New Mexico. This strong upper level low will rotate into South Texas as we head towards the next 24 to 48 hours. And as that swings just to our south, it will start to pull some Gulf moisture up our way and that will lead to some snow showers here starting Thursday night into Friday morning looks like the most snow will fall just to our south and east and our future sky forecast does a pretty nice job of handling this situation. I'll start the clock at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We'll see those cloudy skies tomorrow, but then that snow starts to spread up from the south. Here's 130 in the morning on Friday morning. You can see that snow reaching Dallas and Fort Worth, and then we'll see snow showers from one o'clock in the morning through about eight, nine o'clock in the morning here in Dallas and Fort Worth with the highest concentration and the heaviest snow down here from Tyler. Palestine over towards Corsicana and then as we head into the afternoon on Friday that snow will shift off towards East Texas and our temperatures will actually warm into the upper 20s by the time we get to Friday afternoon maybe even a few low 30s with some sunshine coming our way Friday afternoon but how much snow will we see well if you live south and east of Dallas and Fort Worth that's where we'll see the most snow now this is our snowfall forecast model and it's showing up to four inches of snow in Palestine during the morning hours on Friday and here in Dallas and Fort Worth anywhere from one to two inches of snow early Friday morning with lesser amounts as you travel north and west. So it looks like we're going to see another round of snow tomorrow night into Friday morning. Tonight, hard freeze warning, a low of 10, mostly cloudy, another frigid night. Tomorrow, 23 degrees, mostly cloudy, still very cold with wind chills in the teens. 32 on Friday after that snow in the morning will dry out Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures do warm into the 40s on Saturday, then around 50 on Sunday. We're not done with it yet. Next week, another chance of rain, maybe wintry mix on Monday and next Wednesday. We'll have to watch next Wednesday pretty closely, too, because I was looking at one of our forecast models and next Wednesday could get real ugly, even this worse like than a, what we've seen this yeah. week. Next Wednesday it's a joke now. Well, really? after how it's quiet as quiet as the winter has been, mm -hmm. this is really remarkable how wild this week has just turned out. I know and if my kids have to stay home on Friday, too. We're going to talk. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Every, yeah. every, parent, every parent out there, and you know what I'm talking about? We're running out of movies. Yes, we, we are. Left. That's all right. Uh, nothing mm -hmm. in the tank right now. <laughs> Looking at the radar and trying to match up with what you're seeing on the radar, and you do have a vantage point right here of where Jake is located up here along 175, and he's looking into this area from the north, and he's got a, at least a decent vantage point here. You can certainly see the lowering taking place, and Jake is, has his camera positioned looking right into this area near Odom and then back down towards Gun Barrel City. Jake, we did get reports out of Gun Barrel City of funnel clouds. I wonder if what you're seeing is what some of those spotters were seeing uh, in Gun Barrel City, and from the vantage point of them being right over top of your head, they may have been spinning to the to the perspective of those folks in Gun Barrel City. Uh, very much so. Uh, you know, they, they could have been looking north. I'm kind of looking south by uh, south by east at this thing uh, as it's about to cross over 175. It's uh, it's almost uh, almost uh, directly over me.
And um, uh, we'll go back to that split screen. Is that something for developing right now, Jake? Right there in the middle of your screen? There, we actually, we, we actually do have a funnel. We have a, we have a funnel developing right now, a funnel developing right now, right over me. Uh, I can't tell uh, with the tray line if it's made it to the ground yet, uh, but you, you definitely have a funnel right now it is. developing yeah. uh, right at the north part of Cedar Creek Reservoir over 175. Yeah, and that looks like it's uh, got to be on the ground. Funnel. Uh, this, this very well could be a tornado. Yeah, it definitely looks like a tornado because, uh, as Jake is saying, you can't uh, yeah, see the ground, uh, yeah, but that's is, a is, huge is, tornado right now getting stronger and larger. Talk to me, Jake. Uh, yes, yeah, so this thing is really cycling up and really, really uh, 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 spinning up, as you can see. Uh, I think it's made it all the way to the ground. I, again, with my vantage point, it's hard to tell. I don't see debris. Uh, you know, this has got to be uh, uh, a couple of miles to my, uh, maybe maybe a mile to my northeast. Um, give me just a second. I'm going to move forward. Just yeah, go ahead, Jake. And just to tell everybody at home, we're watching. Going all the way to the ground. Jake, just to interrupt you a second, we are watching live video. This is live video of a tornado on the ground here near 175, very close to Gun Barrel City. If you live in this area, anywhere in northern Henderson County, take shelter now. This is a tornado on the ground. This is live video we have from our Mobile 11 storm chaser, Jake Shannon. And uh, we're telling the Weather Service right now, and Jeff, you might want to send this to them and say, yeah, we, watch we Channel 11, that yeah. this is live right now because we do have a tornado on the ground uh, from Jake's perspective. Jake is on 175. You can see that on the left hand side of your screen and you can clearly see this what looks like a large tornado uh, Jake tell me I know it's tough to get an estimate uh, from your vantage point but it looks like a pretty wide tornado and large tornado might be on the ground here how what's the width you might say this is that little storm. It doesn't cover a lot of real estate. It's a really kind of compact storm, but these are the ones that are kind of separated from the rain bands like we had this morning that can really wind up pretty quickly. And we're in that environment with uh, Tropical Depression Hermine sitting still off to our west where the air is spinning pretty rapidly in the mid and upper levels. It's still all wound up from when that thing was over the Gulf of Mexico. And we've got to unwind that wind. And one of the ways the, the wind unwinds is it transports down to the ground and also can wind up these little storms and that's what we're seeing here. There's the circulation on the ground uh, crossing over the river right now and, and crossing over uh, near the bridge here uh, and moving off towards the east and as we pan off to the right there's the, the Trinity River obviously filled up with water as it crosses over the river here if you live in this community here just north of the river on the west side of downtown Dallas go to that safe area now and let this storm pass by there's the tornado you can see it moving down here it, you got the condensation cloud up here it doesn't always make it down to the ground but you can see the debris being picked up on the ground here as this is moving off towards the north. Now we talk a lot about these upper level disturbances coming through our area. Basically what it is, it's a pocket of cool and cold air aloft that comes over the area. And when we get that colder air in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere, you get the air to warm up and heat up down at the ground. That air starts to rise and with cold air up above us, that air just keeps on rising and generates showers and thunderstorms. And that's why we're going to see stormy weather force on Friday because we've got a real cold pocket of air coming our way during the daytime hours on Friday. And I, it appears my graphics have frozen on me, so we're going to do something a little special here. Uh, I'll try to get these graphics working oh, right now. Wow. My computers are on, on the fritz at the moment, but so uh, why don't you just come out to me here on camera because we're going to do this the old-fashioned <laughs> way. We are technology. We, well, we have wow. to right now because my uh, <laughs> both of my computer systems have crashed with me in the past five minutes. I thought I'd get away with it mm -hmm. by using our backup system, but Admit it, wouldn't you know it, that one just crashed on me too. So here's what we're going to do. I don't know if I aim it to this camera. I'll just show you what the forecast okay. looks like. So we're going to have lots of sunshine tomorrow. Our high temperature tomorrow, and I got it right backwards. Let me turn this around. Say, That's kind of tough really for me. Here we you go. Can do that. <laughs> About 73 tomorrow for an afternoon high. You know what, Larry? Maybe cover it up and we'll guess. That's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, they're 52 okay, so low. here's Saturday, all right? Lots yeah. of sunshine on Saturday. We'll be at 52 Saturday morning, 73 Saturday yes. afternoon. Lots of sunshine for us on Saturday. On Sunday, you're going to like Sunday, too. Okay. A few high clouds will come on through, and we'll have a high of about 72 degrees on Sunday. Yeah. But Sunday morning, about 51, with many of us in the 40s. Really? And then we're going to stay dry all the way through Monday. Yeah, can you do the seven-day? Can you? I'm running out of room here. Actually, you know what? We had some viewers call in for the 10 day, the 10 day? some room. Well, yeah. I'll tell you, Monday, Tuesday will be dry. It'll be mostly sunny on those two days. 
Wednesday, we're going to warm back into the 80s. So Monday will be at about 74, 77 on Tuesday, then about low 80s on Wednesday, about 82 degrees. Mm -hmm. Small chance of storms at 20% on Wednesday. On Thursday, I'm going to bump that up to about 40%. So here's our seven day forecast with all the pretty <laughs> graphics we have now. This is what we're going to have to do. Wow. Yeah. Now, but, can you, now, can you tell me if the Republicans will carry Florida yes, on that? Yes, yeah, the, the Tim Russell. In Russert. honor of the great yeah, Tim yeah, Russell. Oh, wasn't that great, great Tim Russell? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know yet. Okay, we'll good. See. All right. That will determine we'll the election, out. though, I think. So, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, we'll get this fixed at six. So I uh, apologize for my, my computers. It's a Friday. They took the day off, I guess. That's yeah. right. And you think it was a Monday, but all right. Good thing the weather's nice, right? Exactly. Thank right. you, Larry. Sorry, guys. All right. You can.